Hey guys, it's Fernando from Seller Tradecraft coming in from Mexico City. So if you guys don't know yet, Anthony, Nick, and I, we're all hanging out here for the next month, actually. Hanging out, enjoying amazing food, drinking tequila. It's been a complete blast so far. And we even have some friends coming from the MBS group. And if you guys aren't familiar with the MBS group, it's a group of Amazon sellers. We all generate over $1 million per year on Amazon. And they're kind of coming to hang out. We're kind of masterminding a little bit. But yeah, I'm super excited about being here. And so for those that don't know, I'm best known for product selection. I've uh, launched over 250, maybe even 300 private label products now on Amazon. And so I'm constantly being asked, you know, what products to launch and then also which products to avoid. So, and there's so many to avoid. So um, we definitely cover this a little bit more in our free online workshop, as well as of course in our course. But I wanted to create this video specifically for you guys to highlight 15 products that I would never, ever launch on Amazon. And I'm gonna explain a lot of my reasoning why I'm gonna do that so that hopefully you guys leave with some actionable insight. Let's begin. Okay, number one is metal bath bomb molds. So this is, was a kind of a novel product, uh, maybe last year or the year before that, and it quickly became a commodity. Tons of people came in with different shapes, different quantity packs, but now you can see there's tons and tons of comparables. And the interesting thing is, I remember when we first saw this product, maybe about a year and a half ago, I would say the average selling price was around $15, and there were still like a, quite a bit of competitors. But now there's so much more people, and like uh, in that time, there's been so much margin compression. You can see like the listings are selling now for like five dollars, eight dollars, seven fifty, and it just makes it a terrible product to go after. And you can see some of these names are kind of a little bit off, and so those are often like Chinese sellers, kind of like Round Square and stuff like that. So this is definitely like this T Young one. But yeah, I would definitely avoid this product. So the next one is felt letter boards. So another really interesting trendy product that made it really big on Instagram and YouTube, specifically with baby pictures, a really cool idea. I've even seen it in some cafes. But, and there's also, one of the cool things about it is that there's a ton of variations you can do in terms of colors and sizing. But this also became a really uh, trendy product. I'm sure a ton of people found this product on like, you know, the Jungle Scout web app or, you know, um, or viral launches uh, version of that. And it just became super, super saturated and it's just really hard uh, to differentiate and there's only so much volume. And then, and although this is like a product with really good volume, and you can kind of see that in the Jungle Scout report, I think one of the things that I don't like about this product specifically is that you're gonna see it everywhere. And I personally, I like those products where uh, you don't immediately think about because maybe they're like kind of business products or office products or they're just kind of off the beaten path. You know, they're not in like home and kitchen and sports and outdoors, things that you see around your house. So this kind of falls into that kind of trendy everyday product. And so I think the important thing to think about when you're going after a product that's super trendy like this is that you have to time it perfectly and be really, really early. Because if you get to like the fidget spinner craze too late, you can get stuck with a ton of inventory. So the next one is the silicon barbecue gloves. So I think it's kind of sad and kind of hilarious that people are still launching these every so often. I know personally for Nick and I, we actually ended up losing money on this product when we first started about three and a half years ago. And so a lot of gurus will say this is like kind of the perfect product. It's got the BSR and the right range. It's small, lightweight, non-breakable, and that's Honestly, terrible advice. There's so many comparables to this specific product. I would never launch this one again. And it was, a, it was a hard lesson for us. But yeah, there's just so many comparables in terms of like pot holders and you know other types of like, you know, dish towels or whatever you might use to grab something that's like hot. And then, so this is definitely a product that I would never do. And you know, very similar to that is kind of like the baking, the silicone baking mats, ice cube trays, ice molds, you name it. Scratch off mounts. So this is a really cool innovative product. I ended up actually getting two of these as gifts uh, around Christmas. Super trendy, um, but it's also getting a lot more saturated now. And so you can see that uh, people still want to get into it. So they're starting to bundle it with other items. So you see these kind of like little items over here, kind of like pens and just like random little 
uh, items to, to kind of differentiate it, but it's going to be a really difficult product to get into. Uh, I bet you if you check this product again in six months, uh, the sale price will go down by at least another 25%, just as uh, people start getting more competitive and dropping their prices to try to keep their volume the same. The next is essential oils. So definitely one of the categories that has the most sophisticated sellers on Amazon, like Art Naturals, for instance, these guys are huge, really know what they're doing. It's going to be a really Really difficult product uh, to get into for that specific reason very similar to like supplements but unless you have a really really strong you know wellness following it's gonna be a difficult category to break in and get to page one so this is some, if you're just starting on Amazon this is one where you're probably really gonna want to stay away from vitamin C serum oops yeah so this is a beauty product again if you're looking at these items they all kind of look really similar uh, they all got like that orange bottle orange label kind of a commodity product it's gonna be super challenging to get in and beauty overall as a category is is pretty difficult a lot of the time because the price points are pretty low so I would definitely uh, be wary of this because you're gonna need to do thousands of giveaways just to hopefully get to page one. And then K-Cups. So this is one uh, that I think is really cool uh, if you had gone in a few years ago, uh, but you can see the number of reviews is crazy. Uh, a lot of it is kind of brand dominated. And a lot of people targeted coffee specifically because the margins are really great. But again, it's gonna be, unless you have a really unique selling proposition, it's gonna be super difficult to break into K-Cups today. We also have lockpick sets. So this is another one that we ended up losing um, some money on just because it's actually a restricted product on Amazon. And so we didn't know that when we were originally ordering. So you can see there's actually some people selling it. But what's interesting about this product specifically is that certain states in the United States do not allow you to sell this product. And so Amazon using FBA, they restrict it to all states. So you're not allowed to sell it. So these guys will probably get taken down pretty shortly so yeah definitely one to avoid because it's on the restricted products and then we also have water bottles so water bottles is an interesting product where a lot of consumers are looking for a specific brand so you'll see like camelback you know hydro flask you know there might be like yeti cooler the um from from what i understand like a lot of people are looking for brands that they recognize um and then there's of course these like the private label brands as well um but again super saturated uh very very difficult uh category to get into um, so I wouldn't uh, recommend this uh, especially for someone just starting out okay number 11 electronics so there's a ton of moving pieces there's certifications you're gonna need there's a high defect rate so I would really I encourage you guys not to do electronics at least in the beginning um, you're gonna really need a trusted supplier that has all the right certifications and it's just a really hard product to go into when you're first starting out be really careful with these Next is number 12, lithium ion batteries or any product that has those. There's a ton of shipping requirements around lithium ion batteries. And I will say though, if you do know how to ship these or you have experience with kind of freight forwarding or logistics, this could be a competitive advantage. Uh, but if you don't, um, you know, it's probably one that I wouldn't recommend starting out with. Uh, but just so you guys are aware, there is a lot of restrictions around this in terms of logistics. Next is ear picks. So I have a friend that sold these super lightweight, uh, but you know, the problem with this product is it's like a commodity. So you can see that all these photos are pretty much identical. And then, so this one is another one that I've seen like over time, just come get completely crushed in terms of uh, the sale price over time. And then again, you can kind of see these are most likely Chinese sellers as well. So they're difficult to compete with. Next is the garlic press. I couldn't make this video without mentioning the good old garlic press. Scott Volker has made this product really famous by using it as his example when he's explaining products. But I wouldn't do this product unless you've honestly invented the garlic press of the future. And then number 15 is the fitness bands. So this one, again, a lot of gurus like this product because it has those kind of specific criteria like, you know, it's small and lightweight, fits in a shoebox, all that kind of nonsense. Um, but this product is way too saturated. Trust me and don't go near it. 
So the last tip I really wanted to share with you guys is, you know, I've seen a ton of other Amazon sellers and they say like not to do items that are like breakable. And I can tell you as an eight figure seller that, uh, you know, sometimes like breakable items, it's actually one of our most profitable niches. And like, you know, doing products that are either larger or heavier, there's gonna be way less people that are willing to do that. And then, so you're gonna have a really big competitive advantage, just less sellers are gonna be there. And so when you're looking at product selection, you know, try to think differently, do what other people aren't willing to do because uh, there's just gonna be way less people there. And then, so yeah, if you guys found this helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you guys subscribe to our channel, like this video, if you found it helpful. And then if you wanna learn more about our secrets in terms of product selection, join us for the next webinar and there's gonna be a link in the description below. Thanks so much.